hello everyone thank you for stopping on my channel so in the previous video we worked on the rooms crude operation in this hospital management system that uh, we are working on so now in this video we are going to move on to the beds crude, crude operation and the first thing we see is an error so let's fix this okay so in the web.php we have this endpoint and we have this uh, bits live wire component so the error we see here is the column available is not defined or unknown and the reason for that is we have modified the migrations oh, so if you look here um, rooms were available as true and since we have a status for that uh, if we look at the you can see we have our uh, status and status is available then you can get them and I think uh, we have to modify modify this as well so let's just get started with that um, instead of having just one file we are going to create three file create edit and index.blad.php so I'm going to move this to bit slash index.blad.php I'm going to duplicate that to create.blad.php and I'm going to copy the basic stuff that we have for all of the components that we we have done for all the components um, to the bits component all right so it's going to look like this in the pages index it's going to load the index page when the page is create we are going to load the create view and uh, so we have to pass these information the rooms and patients so when assigning or creating a room we have to select a patient for that and the room alphabet and i think uh, we're gonna need the same for the edit as well so now we have to define the page property okay so we initialize the page and whenever you load the page it's going to be set to index and when you call this it's going to um, change the page to create and the create page is going to be loaded okay so now we can work on this uh, bids.index and the first thing we are going to do is remove the form since we don't need it we have created a separate page for that and we have all bids or we can call it just bids and then here uh, we have room patient allotted and discharge time and we have actions i think we can call this a uh, bit number uh, and then a room id so if we look at the room room migration we have department id status type so if we show the room id it's gonna be like the room number right so we can call this a room number and uh, we can look at that here in the live wire component of the for the rooms that we worked on previously and you can see we, we we call it room number the room id is called room number just a unique identifier for each uh, room so now then we have patient id uh, i think uh, if we look at the patient migration i think we can show the name uh, of the patient instead of id and uh, then here we have the admit and discharge time uh, which we have right here so i think we can uh, uh, make use of that and of course you can uh, modify this as you want so uh, for now we are going to just uh, go and uh, go ahead and implement it just like i mentioned and in order to do that i think first thing we need uh, is to make sure the patient uh, uh, crude operation is uh, working properly so let me have a look at that so if we look at the patients okay so i think we can work on this first administrators can add uh, the um, what is it called the patients from here from the admin side while i think we have a section for the patients here as well you can see we have name email phone number um, address etc etc so i think uh, we can make use of that one as well since it's already coming from here and uh, it's gonna like gonna be the same as you add here so uh, let's just uh, work on this i'm gonna go to uh, web.php and then move to patients good operation and we are going to do the same as we did for all so let me just quickly add them and i will be back i will be right back okay so our patients index page is going to be looking good all we do is whenever the page is set to index load all the patients to the um, patient.indexblad.php and now we can work on add a new patient okay so now if i click on add new here we have a form where we can uh, fill the information for the patient and on here uh, for validation i think the image should be nullable the blood group should also be nullable and with that let's give it a try so 
I'm going to fill the information using pack filler. I'm not going to provide the photo. So let's click on add new patient. And patient created it successfully, but we are not redirected back. And the reason for that is we have to set the page back to index. And that will help us redirect back to the index page. And I refresh the page and there we have our first patient. I'm going to add another one using pack filler. Create. Okay. And uh, from here, I think we can remove the photo. We can remove most of the information. We just have to leave the name or email and address maybe. And later on, we can add a detail page where you can, uh, where uh, administrators can uh, like view the complete detail of the details of the patient. So let's say I'm leaving, I'm removing the address, blood group, and photo. Okay, looking good. Now let's uh, check out the edit function or delete functionality. So are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. And ads has been deleted. And now we can move on to the edit functionality. So I'm going to duplicate the create.blade.php and change it to edit.blade.php. And this is going to be update patient. And the button is going to say something like save. And back to the liver class, patient liver class. When you click on edit, we should call this method. So let's see if we are doing that. Okay, show sure, show sure. edit form. It's gonna set the page to patient and then set the variables like this. Okay, and we can set the uh, edit photo to the photo path. Um, this should be not here. It should be in show and the edit form right here. Okay. Now if I refresh the page and I click on edit, nothing is happening. Let's see what's wrong. Oh, we are not setting the edit page now it should be good to go okay here we have the form filled for us except the patient type so let's see what's wrong with that and it seems like we do not have the type in the patient so i think all are considered the same and for that reason let's just uh, remove that from the create as well as from the edit page okay now let's give it a try click on edit all right so let's say i want to change the uh, age to 55 and let's see how the update functionality is handled so i'm going to go to patient and whenever the patient uh, edit patient id exists then call this update method and here we are validate we are validating the stuff so i'm going to just copy the validation that we did for the for the create one and replace it here after that we have these stuff so i think we can remove that remove the old photo store the new photo update the stuff and then save it and at the end we gotta change the page back to index to index.plan.php and it's gonna load that file okay so finger crossed let's give it a try i'm gonna add new patient and then age is 29 and now i'm gonna edit that patient let's say i want to change the name to zaman and age is uh, 55 save it and the name must be at least six characters so let's say don't see zaman age is 55 so is the man age is 55 looking good okay so that is the uh, patient screwed operation now back to bids so here let's see uh, what we can do all right back to the bids liveware component so when uh, here uh, on the when the page is indexed whenever you load the page it's going to be like it's going to list all the available uh, records in the bids and uh, here we have i think a lot of a loaded time and discharge time so um whenever you assign a bit to the patient it's going to be that's this is the place where you're gonna you want to do that so uh, here we want to show the patient name and if i look at the bid live wire um, model not live wire model but uh, the what is it called model relationship to the uh, what is it called patient so bid belongs to a patient so we're gonna we are going to create that relationship and with that we can show the name of a patient just like that and allotted time and discharge time so currently um if we look at the beds migration we do not have that thing so we gotta add it and we already have it but it is inside the patients and i think uh, we gotta have it here so let's just add it to the uh, beds table as well and it's gonna be time stamp what do you call it allotted time okay allocated time and it's gonna be nullable and discharge time so this will show uh, at which time you uh, allocated 
a specific bid to a specific patient and at which time it was discharged located and um, what is the word this mean weekend maybe discharged or something show the current sentence uh, i think this should be like allocated and available so we got to have available um, what is it called we got to have available and allocated all right so now we have to re-migrate this migration and to do that we can use the thing uh, we can use uh, the artisan command php artisan migrate rollback dash dash path is a um, database migrations and this is the migration uh, my migration php artisan migrate aren't these both the same oh is it single or what i'm doing pa migrate rollback let's check out the commands totally forgot okay so okay so we have migrate rollback command right here and i don't know what i was doing wrong and it's not uh, working for me so now it should be work now migration not found maybe it's the path issue okay so the migration do exist here in this case and not working in this case so let's just manually remove it okay so patient is required and uh, after that we have allocated time is also required and the discharge time as i mentioned before it's going to be nullable okay and then model bits create patient id room id patient id allocated time and discharge time and the status as de by default set to um, what is it called status as set to available it should be allocated whenever uh, whenever you like um, add an entry for that it should be set to um, allocated status should be set to allocated and after that we are un unsetting the variable or resetting the variable and then after that we are going to set the page back to index and we will get this message bid assigned successful all right so let's give this a try um, i'm gonna refresh the page click on add new let's use fact filler to fill the form uh, room room 10 and patient to see zaman add new bid okay successfully added room number 10 bid number one patient this uh allocate time this discharge this uh discharge time is uh nullable so it should show dash dash right uh why is it showing different thing interesting oh we have discharge time here so when creating we're not gonna accept that or should we uh did i provide it this okay so let's check this out can i receive the form yeah clear add new patient id must be a number let's use back filler again uh reset the discharge time add new oh for column bids the discharge time must be a value um let's do one thing when you are creating uh assigning a bid uh we are not gonna show you the discharge time so when you are like the patient is good to go then you can update the status and set the discharge time to that time whenever the user um, the fashion got uh, out of the hospital let me delete this one add new using fact filler okay there we go um, let's add a new one and i think one problem is we can add fashion twice should we add filter for that or should we just go go with it discharge time should be dash dash instead of null like this okay so now let's work on edit so here i want to call the show edit form or i think there is nothing wrong with calling this one or we can bring that right here page is to and next and we can call this one from here should be good to go and let's just uh, duplicate this to edit.blade.php where we can edit the information so update bit everything is going to be loaded from the admin side and this time we will have discharge time just like that okay so let's say i want to edit this one um let's say today or this time is it uh, should be set to discharge time for this patient and the bid is going to be set to available so whenever this method is called the edit id exists then this method is going gonna, is gonna to be triggered and here we're going to use the same validation uh, no need for this thing uh, in this case discharge time should be required what is the name of the variable let me just copy and paste it here discharge time and update the values accordingly save it and uh, reset the values and at the end set the page back to index and now there is uh, one issue here uh, there should be like a record of uh, these information somewhere so like now if i have to assign this bid um oh this is called room while it should be bid let's call it bid okay so let's say i want to assign this bid to another patient then 
uh, what should be done in that case so i think uh, what we should do is whenever the user is discharged this entry should be recorded somewhere and um, after that uh, the this should be like set to available or completed uh, like uh, set to available yeah so that's what i mean and i think uh, just like we did um, say status to allocated um, then here we will have to set it to available back just like that but as i mentioned earlier this should be like stored somewhere in order to like um, make it available for the future use okay so now we can give this a try i'm gonna refresh the page mm, i want to discharge this patient today save it seems like something is wrong validation is requiring these information let's see what's wrong patient id looking good allocated time and discharge time let's try again okay now uh, this uh, user has set to available uh, so discharge and that is it for this video uh, now we covered the bit screwed operation but as i mentioned earlier um, uh, somehow there should be like a um, record keeping of the uh, patient holding a specific bed and whenever that is released then that should be stored somewhere for record so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video where we will keep uh, exploring and improving this uh, laravel hospital management system